What's up guys, quick video here. Okay, so my thoughts on the orange lightsaber. Now we have confirmation, and I went over this a little bit in the previous video. We have confirmation that Balin Skull, this dude in Ahsoka, is a surviving Jedi of Order 66, and he is now just a mercenary for hire. What does that mean? He basically will do any job for anybody if it's for the right price. He's basically a bounty hunter Jedi, which is pretty cool. So here's what I'm trying to get at. His lightsaber, everyone's talking about orange. Why is it orange? What does orange mean? My thoughts are that this is literally just the inverse of Mace Windu. Mace Windu in the books and his lightsaber, of course, purple as we know. In the books, he said, I use Pod to channel my own dark side self, which Vapod is the seventh form of lightsaber combat. It is a variant of the seventh form that he created and it channels his own darkness and the darkness of his opponent. Now, I believe that his lightsaber color is indicative of his own dark side and his own powers that he uses. Blue and red mixed together make purple. Now, that is the light side version of teetering in between the light and dark side. Dark side may be a little bit, but having a grasp on it, which is Mace Windu, and being very controlled, very masterful, all that. Now, orange, in my opinion, isn't red, and it isn't blue or whatever else you want, green. It is pretty much more of a light, lighter, light side, dark side, you know, lighter, dark side. And this is where I think Balin Skull falls in. I don't think he is a pure dark side being. I don't think he bled his crystal, which is the new Disney explanation of how they have red lightsabers. It's no longer synthetic like it was in Legends, but they now bleed their crystal. Grabbing the crystal, this time with force, anger, pain, hatred, polluting all the emotions he has into the living object that will swing his rage for the rest of his life. No, I refuse. This is all there is. Throwing all of his hatred, betrayal, fear, sorrow, and everything broken within the boy who dreamed of becoming a Jedi. As lightning crackled from the fiery spikes above, lava swirled around him like the pain within his black soul. He let out a scream as if he were being born a thousand times. <laughs> And I don't think he had enough hatred to be able to bleed it efficiently and properly the way a Sith Lord would, which in turn caused his lightsaber hilt to not fully cross over to the crimson red part like Vader or Dooku or Sidious, but rather to a lighter orange. And for this reason, I believe that he isn't fully evil. You know, and I, I think if there were any other character in Star Wars that would have an orange blade, it could be Count Dooku, maybe, you know, like not super blood red like Vader's or Palpatine's, but, you know, I don't think Dooku was a pure Sith, evil Sith. I think he just had different ideologies uh, compared to the Jedi, which is what made him unique. But we're not going to talk about Dooku. We're going to talk about Balin Skull, and I think that he is more so, like his, like has just been released in the Empire um, magazine, that he is a four hire, he's a mercenary, which means that his heart isn't really in being super evil. He's just trying to survive and trying to make a living, I'm, I'm assuming. And he probably doesn't have any sort of a moral compass whatsoever. So for that reason, it turns his lightsaber orange because he does quote unquote evil bad things for money, but he's not doing it probably the way Anakin did it out of pure hatred and rage. He's probably more stoic and more like just doing a job, getting the job done, like a bounty hunter. No emotional investment whatsoever, just getting out there and getting the job done, finishing it and doing it to the best of his ability, surviving and getting his credits. And that's it, delivering the bounty or whatever it might be. So what is he doing? Well, I don't really know. I think this is teetering on literally the story of Heir to the Empire, um, where Thrawn hires a Jedi, you know, Joros, Jorus Sabaoth, who is really a clone of uh, the Dor of the real Joris Sabaoth. So I, I think he needs a Jedi for something. What it could be, I don't know. I, maybe to get to Mount Tantis, who knows? Um, it could be something else entirely. I guess we will have to wait and see. They could be changing up the story as they're doing a little bit and replacing Luke with Ahsoka. That's another question. Are we going to see Luke? I'd be kind of disappointed if we didn't see Luke in this story as it is pretty much his story of Heir to the Empire. So we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to go over the orange saber and what I think it is. I think he is literally just the inverse of Mace Windu, where he's not fully evil. It's like Mace wasn't fully light side, but he also isn't dark side and this dude isn't light side. You know what I mean? So he's like kind of in the middle, maybe teetering more to dark side, but not fully engulfed in the darkness. That's my thoughts on the orange blade. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, it's always fun theorizing and uh, having a blast with y'all. So 
Let me know. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, remember the Force will be with you always. Yeah.